So one of the questions that I'm sure some of our viewers are having is, what is the correct threshold to go ahead and pull the trigger on injecting that joint? You know, we may, we could easily put a scenario that, in fact, we are in front of a big show, and if it's a reining horse or a jumper, they're not stopping quite as good, and they're not, they're a little sloppy over the jump. And gosh, Doc, the last time this happened, remember, you, you did its hawks, and wow, it did so much better. And um, how, where, where is that threshold for each of you? Give us some guidance on how you make that decision. I, I think that that scenario that you're describing, Dr. Frisbee, is the, is the performance um, related issue. You know, it's not, it's the scenario where there's not an overt lameness, but there is this kind of nebulous situation of it's just not doing as well. Um, and again, I think starting with that exam piece is going to help you, whether or not you've seen the horse before, it's going to help you put the pieces of all of it together and kind of sort through the ridden impressions or the performance impressions coupled with what you're seeing on your end from the medical perspective. And in that scenario, I don't think it's wrong to, to consider doing a therapy that makes sense for everyone involved. Um, if it's not a lameness, you can't block out, you, you can't localize it that way. Um, and I think as long as you have the expectations that this is a little bit of a trial, if this doesn't help you, if you don't see any benefit in doing this or a change, this is what your next move needs to be. We need to consider the following things. So I don't think it's wrong as long as the expectations are laid out from the beginning. Um, and the client has to be okay with that financial piece of, I may be spending your money and it may not help. Um, so I think that has to be a focal piece of transparency. I, I think one of the other things that we should mention here is there are, there are rules and there are regulations and there's drug testing and so forth. So relative to the proximity of this request to the competition, we have to keep all of that in mind. So work us through that example. Sherry kind of gave us her approach to that particular example, helping us understand her threshold. What, what does that threshold look like? Specifically, when is it time to inject a joint in, in your hands? When, when in, in my practice, I would have to say that oftentimes there's performance changes. Horses are starting to miss their lead changes or they're, they're uh, irregular on, on, on a left lead canter as opposed to a right lead canter. A dressage horse won't sit and do a pirouette. Um, and then in the course of the physical examination, I, uh, between uh, palpation, acupuncture point palpation, joint flexion, palpation, you know, I, I find that uh, it's very probable that this horse has a, 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 a pair of sore hocks and, uh, or perhaps um, has a, a mild fetlock synovitis uh, in a hind limb that, who knows, could be related to a, um, a suspensory branch abnormality, for example. So I'm going to want to look at that horse thoroughly, but if I feel like that in the, in the long run, uh, that joint is inflamed uh, in such a manner that I can truly benefit it uh, with uh, joint injections, then I'm going to go ahead with therapy at that point. Uh, and it might not be the same, as I said, the same thing that it was six months ago when the horse performed similarly. You know? That's the importance of the exam.